Hi Sneakies, it's me Fifi and I'm back. I'm back again today with another couple of reaction for you guys. And this is of course my double last, double, double last album first listen. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. This is indeed going to be my first ever Capella album, first listen, and I'm super, super excited for it. Um, if you've missed my reaction to the title track and the up, oh, it's literally the last thing I posted. If you're watching this in the future, you can go over and find it in my Capella playlist on my channel. And yeah, I'm super, super excited. Let's just go. Disclaimer, I will not be reading lyrics whilst listening to these songs. This is my first time hearing this song, so I want to concentrate on the music production and their vocals, which is my priority. The lyrics distract me from that, so I'll read them later in my own time. There are plenty of reactors out there who will do lyric readings. I'm just trying to vibe. If you want to vibe with me, then cool. Okay, so we're starting the album first listen with the first track, Le Voyage. Le Voyage, Le Voyage, Voyage, Voyage with a nine. Why do they spell things with numbers? Let's go. This bubbles. What was that? Was such a pr 
pretty song. It also had this sort of epic almost element to it, especially during the B chorus, the second part of the chorus, which was actually, I didn't like that part of the chorus as much as the first part of the chorus, the more sort of weird sort of part. Um, the song itself was such a nice sort of pretty sounding song. Uh, within the instrumental itself, like the guitars was just so nice, the guitar strumming. Um, but there was also an element of a little bit of grittiness when the chorus first comes in. You've got that really low synth. Um, it was very, very different. I, like, I wasn't expecting that chorus to come in. What I was expecting, it was like the second, the B, the, the B, I don't know if it was a post-chorus or not. The second part of the chorus, you know the part I mean that I said sounded kind of a little bit epic. That's what I was expecting the chorus to sound like immediately, but they gave us something different and I'm really, really glad about that. The composition and the writing of the song, I'm not talking about the lyricism, I'm just talking about how it was composed, like how it was written. The melodies were so, 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 so stunning and the way they were delivering the vocals, like their voice was so nice, light, breathy, airy, dreamy. Um, that was a very, very pretty song. This is such a perfect summer album. Let's go on to the next one. Okay, guys, let's go. Next up, we have the track, Attention. No one say 80s the group, 80s a decade, 80, little less, 80s. 
Um, it, it had that like that tempo and the drums itself, like the actual percussion, it definitely had that 80s sort of element to it. And then you had that hip hop switch switch up when really he went into sort of like a trap like beat. Um, absolutely fantastic. The way she, I don't know who was rapping, but the way she came in with the woo, woo. Then we went straight back into the other sound. Um, and then that whole moment at the end where it was cutting out into like this little mini little like sort of almost, it is EDM, sort of almost dubstep drops, then come back in again. Then stopping, then coming back in again. You guys know I love me some songs that just be smacking me in the face and then picking me back up again. Like I just love that. I love that sort of experiment, experimentation. Exp Listen, that was absolutely fantastic. But again, very consistent with the summer vibes. They've given us something different each track, but they've kept that sort of summery vibe. Um, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, again, vocals, ad libs. I did not know they've got a group who gave ad libs like this. You guys know I'm a sucker for ad libs. It's giving us vocals. It's fantastic. Let's go on to the next one. Okay, let's go. Next up, we have Rewind. Rewind. Let's go. Very nice piano. Ooh.
same routine. Okay, so for some reason I just realised that this was the last track and I accidentally listened to this one before the other previous track. So I've messed up the last two tracks, unfortunately. I've flipped them around, doesn't really matter. Um, obviously that was a good album ender. <laughs> so that, that was going to go on the end of the album, that makes a lot more sense. I always say this, like I'm not a vanity person, um, unless it's sort of R&B, that, de that did definitely have R&B elements, but I do always feel like a nice song like that is always a good album finisher. Always, 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 and I feel like people have really, really, really nice voices. Even after watching Queendom 2, I still feel like I didn't get to see them or hear them properly as much as I should have. Um, and that song definitely, like, I said it since the beginning of like this album first listen like their vocals like what the hell but i got to hear them very very clearly in that song um the production was really really nice the instrumentation those guitars were so nice that piano those chords when that brass section came in you had those horns saxophones trumpets whichever brass instrument that was i don't know i can never tell sometimes um, it was just such a stunning song again, more ad libs, and it was a perfect album finisher. Not for me though, I still got one more track to go. Let's go on to the next one. Okay, guys, let's go. The second to last track, but last track for me. Kapala, good night. Let's go. <laughs> Ooh, love that voice manipulation of voice. <laughs> Ooh. super summary this is a very very consistent album as much as i love k-pop and i love how different um k-pop like the variety of songs that we get on k-pop albums and um, some you sometimes on albums we just get like a, a track that's just a completely different genre each track 
but sometimes it is really nice to get albums that are so like consistent like this where you can just put it on from start to finish and it's all just one vibe but not boring at the same time sometimes that can be very boring and all the tracks sort of sound the same but thankfully they've given us an album where each track has the same vibe and it flows perfectly but there's also a different element to each track um, very 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 well done i love the instrumental on that there was this really 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 nice chord progression um, at the end of the i think it was just in the pre-chorus not sure if it was at the end but i pointed it out a couple of times really really nice pre-chorus um, uh, chord progression in the pre-chorus um, some really really nice moments again really nice melodies really nice ad-libs i'm just so impressed with their vocals I don't know what it is. I feel like after watching Queendom 2, I should know how like good vocalists they are. But I feel like those performances just didn't do them justice. They didn't do them justice. And now I've heard this as well, I can just say it even more now. Like the, those performances just didn't do them justice, man. They have such good vocals and they're such good rappers as well. They're so fucking talented. I love that track. I love the album. It's a summer vibe. Um, my favorite track is definitely up. I'm not gonna pick a top three because there isn't that many tracks. But my favourite track is hands down the title, oh, that's one of my favourite titles this year, hands down, hands down. Let me know your favourite track on the album. And yeah, I've got nothing else left to say. If you like this video, please give it a, I haven't left out any more tracks, have I? I don't know. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. If you have subscribed, I love you, I love you. Go and follow me on Instagram, guys. Go and follow me on Twitter. And yeah. Oh!